What's up guys, we're back again with another tutorial. This time we're going to be going over how you can use Viva version, Viva backwards, to allow any versions onto your Minecraft server. Now, I say any versions, I believe it's 1.1 upwards, um, anywhere up to 1.18, which means that you can either run uh, your server, potentially some of your uh, plugins might not be compatible for 1.17 upwards, you can have a 1.17 server, allow up to 1.18, and also the way down to 1.1. Another really neat thing about this, um, and I will have it installed on my server as well, that it also works with Geyser MC, which means that you can run an older Java server and still allow Bedrock to come on, because Bedrock always has to be on the newest, and you can have whatever version of Java before, to suit whatever plugin that you're using. And before we get started, if you've not uh, got yourself a Minecraft server, head on over to seekerhost.co. You're going to find yourself a super cheap server. Got some really good customer service there. Um, and of course, you are going to get yourself a great server too for that price. I'll leave the link in the description below. So to do this, first of all, you're going to need yourself a server. We're also going to need two plugins as well, uh, which is going to be Viva version. Of course, I'll leave all the links. And it's going to be Viva backwards as well. Now, there is actually a third one as well, which is Viva Rewind, and that I believe that goes uh, back to 1.8 or something like that, so quite far back. So uh, we're not going to be doing that in this episode. However, you are going to go all the way back to 1.1, as you can see there, and go all the way up to 1.8, no matter what your version is. Before we get started, some things that we are going to be using, or what I'm going to use is FileZilla. You can, of course, use FTP file access. I just prefer to use FileZilla, just because it's easier to transfer uh, files. It's also much quicker, and you can do multiple files as well. So first of all, what you're going to do is you're going to download Viva version, and you are going to download Viva backwards. These are going to be the latest versions um, when you search for this, both on Spigot MC, and of course, both for free. Once you've downloaded your plugins, you're going to stop your server. Once you stop your server as well, one thing that I do recommend is actually using Paper. Now, I know they're both Spigot plugins, however, Paper is much more optimized, um, and it also will use either Spigot or Bucket plugins. And like I said before, this will work with Geyser and Floodgate. Currently, I have got Geyser and Floodgate enabled, so Bedrock can join as well. And we'll even do a test as well, um, just to show you guys that you can actually go on a newer version of Java and also Bedrock. I mean, that's a pretty cool combination, isn't it? I remember when I first started playing Minecraft, I did not think this would ever be possible. I mean, realistically, you can actually get somebody um, on a mobile phone playing on your Java server with version 1.12.2. That's insane. Anyway, let's go on with it. So we've stopped our server. I've chosen a 1.17.1. Uh, uh, of course, you can choose whatever version you want to use for this. And let's go ahead and upload the plugins. Now, of course, if you are using your FTP, just log into FTP file access uh, and do the same thing. However, I'm going to be using um, FileZilla here. So I'm going to go to my plugins section over here on the left hand side of my dashboard. I should have Viva backwards and Viva version. Now, if you are using FileZilla, what I do recommend is putting them in a folder which isn't your downloads. In your downloads, it goes by alphabetical order and you're going to take ages depending on how many downloads you have to actually find um, the jars. Anyway, we've just moved over the jars into the plugin section. Now, again, if you're doing it with the FTP file access, pretty much exactly the same thing. Once we're logged in, we're going to come down to plugins. From plugins, uh, you can simply go to upload, and as you can see, we already have it on there. So we're all good to go. Now let's just go back to the main page here and start the server. Um, now this won't take very long, and I'm really quite happy to say that there is pretty much minimal configuration that you actually have to do. It pretty much works right off the bat. And just by adding these two simple plugins now, anybody uh, from anywhere up to 1.1 to uh, currently what the latest is on Java 118.1 can join your server and of course bedrock as well so now that's all up and running let's just go to console uh, let's see what plugins we have and i'll also uh, prove to you that we have got floodgate and geyser installed as well as you can see there we've also got essentials grief prevention luck perms and vault as well so all the good essential ones for economies and admin stuff as well so that's all installed now let's head on over to minecraft so i'm going to get started first with 1.12.2 let's just make sure that we can join with 1.12.2 if we want to so i'm just going to keep this on the smaller screen so i don't normally record using uh, this particular one with a camera on the screen so let's just go to multiplayer unfortunately we'll have to see this in small hit a refresh and we should see there we go have a craft so it's shown already um this is the correct server let's just go check the haveacraftmc.com perfect so let's just go ahead and check that we can join in 1.12.2 very nice we're on unfortunately it's a flat map and it's dark so you really can't see anything but we are on there we go let's just break a block very nice collected my dirt and there's a little village over there so that's working for 1.12.2 now let's go to the current latest version which is 1.18.1 on java Right now we're on 118.1, let's just go ahead, refresh this, can we go to Havocraft? It's coming up, that's pretty good, let's go join server and we should now be able to join. So as you can see now you can join from, you know, down to 1.1, 1.18.1, perfect, again, unfortunately, sorry, it's so dark, I don't think I'm OP on any of these. Uh, let's try 
Oh, there we go. So yeah, you can see I'm in game. Um, I'm on Watton.18.1. So that's working really good so far. We've got obviously the lowest version that we can go to and the highest version. Now let's just check that Bedrock is also working as well. God, I hate this new launch. Uh, does anybody else, anybody else had problems? Um, unfortunately i've got two different accounts that seems to have been a problem so now i have to like do my bedrock on the new launcher use the old launcher for java it's really annoying wish they'd sort it out wish they'd make it easy this whole mojang uh, microsoft thing ha right so we're on bedrock obviously this is going to be the latest version because bedrock always stays on the latest and that's one of the important things here let me just minimize this if i can Perfect. So yeah, with Bedrock, that was the problem that I was having one of the plugins, and this is how I originally found this out. One of the plugins that I had on my 1.17.1 server um, was not getting updated anymore for 1.18.1. Uh, but obviously, we still need Bedrock to be able to join. Um, so by using Viva version, it worked. So you can allow people uh, that are actually a newer version than you, just with Viva version. If you want to use people that are a lower version than you, it's Viva backwards, or you can use them both together. So let's just go ahead. We're on Bedrock now. Let's go to play. I should have this server installed. Have a craft. That's really good. And that's a really good ping as well. <laughs> let's just join. Um, and yeah, that'll be the third check. So we've got 1.1, 1.18 Java. And now I've got the latest Bedrock as well. Looks like we're pretty good. Looks like we're about to hit in game. Hopefully it stayed light. There we go. Looks like we're about to also get attacked by a slime. So as you can see, that works pretty pretty well so guys thanks for watching don't forget to hit that like button um, and subscribe if you haven't already all the links will be here on my main uh, website so i like to keep all the minecraft links all the helpful minecraft links if you don't know where that is go to minecraft uh, go to helpful minecraft links and you're going to find anything there you're probably going to find stuff that you you didn't even know you wanted anyway anything from like the curse forge feed the beast mc uh mcp dl for um for pe you got Worlds Painter, MCC Tool Chest, uh, JE2B for converting uh, Java and Bedrock. How to create your own texture packs and lots of other links all here. And also obviously with a few explanations as well or instructions. So thanks again for watching. I'll catch you next time on the next video. Bye bye.